how many licenses should an independent adjuster hold? Okay, this is a uh, also a common, somewhat of a common question. There are adjusters out there, and I feel like the number is dwindling, but there's a lot of adjusters that are out there that think that it's the most marketable thing that they can do is carry as many licenses as possible, carry licenses in like a bunch of states, okay? There, there, there's some truth to that. It's going to make the possibilities of you getting a deployment in Minnesota more likely if you hold that license. But it's a lot of upkeep. It's a lot of things to pay attention to. If that's your deal, you don't want to take a single damn claim in your in your area, and you only want to do cat work, and that's a part of like your business model. Get as many as you possibly can. If you you're willing to take those deployments, but you don't want to go in the snow, you don't want to do. Uh, go to Minnesota, you don't want to go to Maine, you want to go to those northern states, don't carry those ones. Don't market yourself in those things. You don't have to market yourself to every freaking part of the country. Don't do it. Me personally, I like Florida. I'm in the state of New Jersey. It's a non-licensing state, so I've always had a Texas license. Other than Texas, I've got Florida. Um, I'll get Louisiana. I'll get any of the other hurricane states if I need it, if it makes sense because there's a storm going that way. Other than that, I got a Connecticut because Connecticut's close to where I live. I got a Delaware because, or I think I used to have in Delaware, but that expired. I won't carry a license if I don't expect to be working there. 